All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can set up a Cubic uh, Web Wallet, okay? So there's been a lot of confusion out there on how to actually set up this wallet. There are some few steps involved and I just want to make sure that you guys are fully aware on how to do it step by step and remove any confusion out of the equation, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to wallet.cubic.li, okay? Now, just as a word of caution, okay, do not type that on Google because there are already a lot of scams out there, phishy links, so you either gonna type it yourself into the search bar or it's better to actually go into the Discord, official Discord of Cubic, and get the official links from there. That's the best way to do it. Um, now, once you come here to the page, you'll see this, this page right here. So uh, what you're gonna do is gonna click on create a new wallet, okay? Now, once you do that, then it's gonna bring you to the actual wallet page. Now, this is very important. What we're doing here is we're downloading the wallet file. Okay, so what the wallet file will allow you to do is that once you, uh, you know, close the browser or you clear the cookies, right, you will need that file to get access to the wallet, okay? Besides password and besides the seed phrase, you would actually need this file, okay? So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna type it your, your own password, okay? Make sure, of course, there's a strong password and then click on save uh, wallet file, okay? Make sure uh, after you save this to have a few copies in, you know, separate like uh, hard drives or USB sticks, anything like that. So you click on save wallet file and then it's gonna prompt you to save the actual file, okay? So it's gonna be cubic.li wallet dot unlock okay and you're gonna click on save okay then after that right once you have uh, done that then you're gonna click on add address okay so what it will do is that it will basically create the address in the cubic network okay so click on add address then you, you rename it okay um, and then what it's gonna say here is to, uh, to add your 55 character seed phrase, okay? Now we're gonna generate one from, um, from, from Cubic, right? They're gonna, if you click on here, it's gonna randomly generate a seed phrase, okay? Now this seed phrase right here, right? This is super important because you will need these as well to get access to the actual uh, wallet inside the Cuban network, okay? So again, just to, 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 to recap it again, you need the wallet file, okay, to unlock your wallet and to perform transaction, and then you will need the seed phrase, okay, to actually retrieve your wallet from the network, okay? So now let's say that we have, um, I'm gonna copy this right here, okay? Um, and after that, okay, I'm gonna click on create address, okay? Now, my address has been created. So this is my cubic network address, right? Okay, now over here, you'll see a bunch of actions. So here's basically to uh, see um, your address and your um, seed phrase, right? So you can actually copy it. Here is where you can actually uh, start sending payments. Here's to refresh the balance. Here's basically creates the QR code. And here, if you wanna change your, um, your name of the address, and here is to delete the address from, from the wallet, okay? Because you can have like multiple address. Now, once we've done that, let's say that you wanna um, send uh, cubic to someone else, right? So you're gonna click on here and here it will show you the list of the address that you have, the addresses that you have on your web wallet, okay? So you're gonna click on here, okay? 
and then of course you gotta add the the, the address of uh, the receiver okay so um, hold on let's see if I can copy it from here but again there is no this is just a test wallet so let's say if we do that okay now of course there is no there is no cubic here so if we click on here of course it will not go through but what happens is that once you are ready to send in in order for you to send the cubic you will need to upload the the actual wallet file okay so that's that's super uh, super important right there okay so um, if I click on here of course right here is nothing it's 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 gonna happen because there is no <laughs> Uh, there, there is no balance okay so now sometimes over here you will see that the balance is gonna be loading so what are you gonna do is just gonna refresh here okay and it's gonna actually show you the um, it's gonna actually show you the, the value now there is nothing here so this transaction is gonna fail right because basically it's, I I copied the same address over here but Right, right now you can see that after I refresh my balance, okay, in order for me to send um, cubic to someone else, I will have to load the wallet file, okay? So you would have you have to upload the file, okay, from here. This is the wallet file, and then I'm gonna type my password that I created earlier, and then we click on unlock wallet now the wallet is unlocked okay and now we can perform the transaction okay so again in order for you to perform any sort of payment right this is like once you once you do this the first time you will need to add the wallet file add your password which is the one that you set at the beginning for the um, for the setup of the wallet file and then you will be able to to send a uh, cubic to, to someone else to exchanges or anything like that okay now um, just to recap okay so we have the wallet file at the beginning and that is secured by a password right so make sure to save the wallet file and the password safely and then after that you come here create add address and then the seed phrase is going to generate and you will also need that in order to retrieve your address id and uh, the, the the actual uh, wallet history okay so make sure to 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 save this as well and then once you're going to perform a payment okay so you would actually need to upload the wallet file and your password in order to do that and then if you don't see um, the, the balance right here you're just gonna refresh it and then you'll be able to 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 see your balance okay so i hope this was helpful uh, make sure to save again the wallet file the password that opens the wallet file the wallet address id okay which is this one and then make sure to save the seed phrase okay so those things are super super important save them save them in multiple locations so that way you can you can have them do not save them or do not save them on any last pass one password everything has to be called make sure to do that and then i hope that you enjoyed this video that was helpful and clear some confusion about how you can set up the cubic wallet all right